Paladin voice test number three. And come back to the Hotel Carlton next time you're in San Francisco, sir. Oh, good evening, Mr. Paladin. Good evening, George. My key, please. Good evening, Mr. Paladin. Good evening, my dear. Nice to see you. Is it? Haven't you been avoiding me lately? No, not at all. I've been out of town. Mr. Paladin! Mr. Paladin! Hey, over here, hey, boy. Uh, you'll pardon me, my dear. Perhaps you'd wait for me in the lounge. If you don't take too long. Mm -hmm. I won't. Hello, hey, boy. Oh, Esau, Mr. Paladin, I look for you. I get you papers from all places in West, like always. Fine. Put them in my room. I'll be up later. Yes, sir. Uh, right now, there's a young lady. Oh, who... I think something you want to see. Oh? In this journal from New Mexico. I'm a... Oh, here, you read. Yeah. Hmm. It looks like they need Mr. Paladin and his gun. Huh? Yeah, maybe so, hey, boy. Thank you. Uh, now get me pen and paper, please. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right away. Good, good. You send cards, say, have gun, will travel. Well, my name is Paladin. I got your wire. Wire? Well, your name is Jesse Reed. Yeah, what about it? You and 20 of your men tried to take the town of Perdido below the border in Mexico. And only five of you came back, not in very good shape. As a matter of fact, I see that you are still hobbling on one leg. How do you know so much, mister? I saw it in the San Francisco papers. And I sent you a card. Like this one. Huh? Have yeah, gun will travel wire paladin San Francisco. I sent no wire. Well, I have it right here. Yeah. Fast gun, huh? Fast enough. What do you figure you can do for me? Dave Enderby is wanted for murder, and he's holed up in an outlaw town in Mexico. More important, he took your daughter with him, and when you went after her, he ambushed your men and shot you. I I guess you'd like to see him again. Well, if I couldn't bring him back with 20 men, how do you think you'll do it all alone? Well, there are all kinds of tactics, Mr. Reed. Tactics? You an ex-army officer? Among other things. I know your breed. you got to have action... And money. Which brings us to my fee. I didn't ask you here, and I ain't paying nothing. For Dave Enderby delivered to you, breathing? How much? One thousand dollars. Yeah, that gun comes high. It's a good gun, crafted to my own specifications. Let me see it. <laughs> what do you know about that? I ask a man for his gun, and he gives it to me. Why, you overdressed tin soldier, you'd have about as much chance with Dave Enderby as a ribbon clerk. I'll have my gun back, Mr. Reed. Or I'll put a hole between your eyes. This derringer may not look as impressive, but it's just as effective at short range. Thank you. All right. You bring me Dave Enderby alive, you'll get your thousand. Nothing on account. Only my word. And the word of Jesse Reed's enough, you understand? I don't ask anything more. Yeah. Well, Dave Enderby shot his first man when he was 15. In the back. That's the only way he knows how to fight. <laughs> yes, I'll remember. Now, Mr. Reed, what shall I do about your daughter? Let her stay. All I want is Enderby. Very well. What's the road? Due south into the Sierra Grande. Now, you're a fool, Paladin. You might get in, but you won't get out. I couldn't. And you won't. We'll see. Good day, Mr. Reed. Well, that concludes the special piping from Hollywood. This is the CBS Radio Network.